So I recently had a comment on another video asking how to create ghost text in text fields in Acrobat. And um, I think that's a great question, so I'm going to make a video on it. Right now, you can see what ghost text is if you just look at this box here. Um, when I'm not in it, there's instructional text within the field, and it's gray, and it says whatever I want it to say. And it's really great because once I fill it in, it goes away and my field is filled with whatever I put there and that text is darker. So how do you get that to happen? Well, it's a little bit tricky and I'm going to walk you through it. So um, you'll need to enter in some JavaScripts and I'm going to provide those scripts, copy and paste them down in the description so you can just copy and paste them yourself and put them in. But um, don't be intimidated. It's not too hard. It's just a matter of just copy and pasting. So right now I am in prepare a form mode. So if you're not, you have to go open up your form in Acrobat and go down to prepare a form. There you go. Then everything will be edit editable. Um, in this box, say this is the one I want my ghost text to go into, I'm going to right click, go to properties, and there's a few things I need to do from there. So right off the bat, you may be in general, you're going to go over to format and you need to select a format category and that is custom. We are going to custom JavaScript here. So I'm going to then go to custom format script, edit, and I'll get a little box here. That is the box where I'm going to put my scripts. Uh, the custom format script is this one here. I'm just copying it, pasting it. Okay. That's part one. Now we see we have instructional text goes here. That's what that script is for. It's to add that text, but that text will be only in black if we don't do the next steps. So if you don't mind your text, your instructional text being in black and not gray, you can stop here. But if you want it to be gray, like I showed you, you're going to need to go to actions. We're going to have to do two actions here. So we're going to go to on focus first. Our trigger will be on focus and then down to run a JavaScript here and then add. And now we're going to add in another script. This is for on focus. Just copy that, paste that one. Okay, that will make it black when we're in there and when it's being used, I guess. And then we're going to go to on blur. So once you clicked on blur, you're going to run a JavaScript too add, and then you're going to do your on blur JavaScript. I have them labeled, so you'll know which is which. Okay. Close. Now preview. Perfect. Okay. So at first it looked like it was black, but that's not how it will open. It will come in gray. And now if I type in address, It worked, perfect. And then if I want to leave, type some other stuff in other fields and then come back and add something else, um, I can, and it doesn't get deleted or anything. I can just edit it. Or if I want to delete it all entirely, I can do that. And then the instructional text, ghost text comes back. So that is all you need to do. Um, this works excellent in Acrobat, but if I do open up this form in um, Chrome or something like that, it will be gray. I have a test here I'll open, open with Chrome. So Chrome does just does not work as good as Acrobat and they don't speak to each other the same. So I have the ghost text here. The thing you'll notice, the difference in opening it in Chrome or Explorer is that it will always stay a little gray but they all do. So that's kind of just, Chrome's not the best to fill out a PDF, but it, it, you know, you need to use it sometimes and it still kind of works. It's just not as pretty as Acrobat. So that is just a note. I hope that this helped you guys. And I just want to mention one thing. If you are um, wanting to change your instructional text, you can do that. Um, it's just part of the JavaScript. So if I go into properties and back to format here, I just had, need to change the wording within my JavaScript. So it's in um, uh, quotations and you would just put whatever you want. So address location, and just make sure you stay within those um, um, quotations, sorry. 
There you go. So now that has changed. And if I preview it, perfect.